right, fans, we're gonna draw a nest. Yeah, we're gonna draw a nest with baby birds in it. Well, when it's closed, it'll have eggs, and then when you open it up, the baby birds will be hatching. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yes. First, let's fold our paper. We're gonna take the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge, and when it's lined up, we'll crease it down and out to the corners. You got it? Keep going. Yeah, you do the other side, and then right down the middle. Right there, and then out to the corners. You did it! There's our first fold. Now let's take the top flap, and we're gonna line it up with the top edge. And when it's lined up, crease it down also. And then let's flip over our paper, and we're gonna repeat that last step. Next, we're gonna take this top flap and line it up with the top edge, crease it down, and out to the corners. There you go. Right down the middle, and then out to the sides. Yes, this is a guide fold. We're gonna unfold it and flatten it out, and then flip our paper back over. When we're all finished, it should open up like this. Cha. Next, we can put scratch paper underneath our drawing paper just to protect the table because we're using markers. Now we're ready to draw, and again, we're using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You could use a pencil or crayons or maybe even paint if you wanted. That would be really fun. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw our nest first. I'm gonna start over here, and we're gonna draw a big U shape. I'm gonna come down, around, and then back up on the other side. Almost looks like a big smile. I'll help hold the paper for you. Yeah, there we go. Our nest is on the bottom part, or below the fold. Then we can draw the eggs. We're gonna draw a upside down U right here for one egg. I'm gonna draw it right here. And we're gonna draw this above the fold. We wanna make sure we don't go over the fold or below it. Oh, I like how skinny your egg is. That's perfect, it's really cute. Then we're gonna draw another egg right next to it. We're gonna draw another egg that comes up and over and down. Yes, okay, now we're ready to open up our paper. It doesn't quite look like a nest in eggs, but we're gonna add more details. Let's open up our paper and flatten out the fold. I'll help you. Next, let's extend the left side and the right side up on our nest. And then let's connect over to the other side. It looks like a half circle, or a yeah. circle cut in half. <laughs> now let's add extra details to our nest. We'll, let's add some blossoms. Okay. I'm gonna draw one little circle right here, and this we wanna draw below the fold. And then we can add the little petals around the center of the flower. I'm gonna add another one over here. Let's draw it right here. Maybe this one could be a different size. I'm gonna draw this one a little smaller. Draw another circle, and I went fast because we're just repeating the same steps. Good job. And we could also draw, oh, I'm gonna draw a flower that's behind the nest. So I'm gonna draw half of a circle sticking out, and then we can just draw the little petals going around that half circle. Oh, let's do another one, maybe right here. I'm gonna draw a half circle and the petals going around. And then we could also add a little branch sticking out. Should we add a little branch? Yeah. We'll add one here. Let's draw another line right next to it and then connect it at the end. That's a pretty big branch. We could draw little small branches sticking out too. I'm gonna to repeat the same step and go a little faster. Now our friends can pause the video if they want and add even more details. Yeah. You could draw a big branch that your nest is sitting on. Do you wanna add another little one sticking out? I'm gonna add another one sticking out over here. And maybe that's, yes, that's it. Let's leave it just like that. Now let's come up here and we're gonna extend our eggs a little further past the fold on each side. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a zigzag line but we wanna make sure that this zigzag line doesn't go above the fold. We wanna make sure we're below it. So we're gonna draw it all underneath the fold. 
And then let's do the same thing over here. Make sure it's below the fold. That way when it's folded up like this, I'll show you. When it's folded up, it doesn't look cracked. Yeah. And then when it's open, it's totally cracked, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is our nest missing? Baby birds. Yeah, baby birds. Let's do it. We're going to draw, right, so look at this. We're going to, I'm going to fold it up really quick. And we're going to draw our first bird right where the egg is. And we're going to do the same thing with the second one. So when yours is folded up, you got a little tiny bird, but I think it would be funny if you drew a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to draw the head right about here. So let's draw one circle. I'm going to draw it right. Oh, that's a perfect size. <laughs> that one fits inside of that egg. I'm going to draw another circle right here for the other bird. Mine don't really look like they fit. <laughs> now we're going to draw the beaks. And when they're really hungry and their mommy bird is bringing the food or yeah. daddy bird, they bring the food like this and then their beaks are sticking up in the air. So first, let's draw the letter V. And then we're going to draw the top of the beak and the bottom of the beak. Yes. And then let's repeat that same step over here. We'll draw the letter V and then we'll draw the top and bottom of the beak. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle like this. And we could draw a circle over here too. And a lot of times the baby birds keep their eyes closed. So if you wanted to draw the eyes completely shut, you could just draw a line straight yeah. down. But we could also draw them cute with their eyes open. So I'm going to draw a small little circle. Oh, you could even just color it in <laughs> since your eyes are so small. I just leave it a little tiny bit. I, I love it. <laughs> then we're going to color in this eye too. And I just leave a little shiny reflection in the eye to make them look friendly. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what's our little baby birds missing? The the body. Yeah, the body. Let's draw two lines coming down like this. And they'll stretch their necks out really high and far to reach for the worm or the food. Oh, that's what we should add next. Should yeah. we add a worm? Yeah. Let's draw a wiggly line like that, an S line. Oh, that's got two wiggles. Then we're going to draw another wiggle that matches exactly like the first one. Oh, and I love that you connected it. That's what I'm going to do also. I'm going to curve around and connect here and connect here. Oh, they're going to fight over that one, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe we should add another wiggly line for another worm. I'm going to add it right next to it. Right there. Yeah, I'm going to draw another one this way. <laughs> We're going to add lots of worms. These are healthy birds. They're going to eat really well. Yeah. We did it! Olivia, we finished drawing our baby birds, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We're going to fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. <laughs> Olivia, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our nest with the little baby eggs. Should we show our friends the inside? Yes. Okay, on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Happy, Happy spring. spring! Oh my, I love yours so much. Thank you, I like yours too. <laughs> oh, thanks. I really like this little bird that's eating the worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you also added more eggs inside. I love that. That looks really cute. Thank you. You guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring, or you can color your drawings any way you want. You could also add the extra things. I love that you added the eggs. And oh, we also added leaves to our nest. And I added shells that are breaking apart from the eggs. And also you could add more things. What else could they add? A mama bird. Oh yes, you could draw mama bird coming in or even daddy bird flying in to do the feeding. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think worms just fall from the sky. Yeah. We used our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, the colors that we use, well, we use two pinks for the worms. We use 341, that's the main color. And then I used... 121. Yeah, that's the darker pink I used for the texture. And then also I used two colors for my bird. 100 is the brown that I used, but you used 66 blue and 88 pink for your other bird. Yes. 
Then we use 35 yellow for the beak, and for the eggs, I use two blues. 66 is the light blue, and then 74 is the dark blue. But you also used your 35 yellow, and also 23 orange for the spots. Yes. And then what color did we use for the nest? 103. Yeah, that's a really good brown. And then I also used a darker brown, 94, to add texture, but you could leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Yeah. Then I used two greens for the leaves, 59 is the light green, and 54 is the dark green. We hope you have fun drawing baby birds in the nest. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to color and add extra things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wee, my birds are oh. flying. <laughs> <laughs> They're not old enough to fly yet. <laughs>